In this video, tatalakayin natin ang greatest common factor using continuous division. What is greatest common factor? It is the highest number that can be used to divide two or more numbers without any remainder. Pinakamataas na numero na magagamit na eksaktong panghati o pang-divide sa iba pang mga numero. Example, let's have two numbers. 8, meron itong factors na 1 times 8 at 2 times 4. Another number, 20. Meron itong mga factors na 1 times 20. 2 times 10, at 4 times 5. Ngayon, pansinin, may mga common factors ang 8 at 20. Ito yung 1, 2, at 4. Mapapansin na ang 4 ang pinamataas na value ng common factor. So, ito ang greatest common factor, or GCF. So, ang GCF ng 8 at 20 ay 4. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. At 20 divided by 4 equals 5. Now let's take a look at continuous division. 8 and 20. Kunin natin o solve natin yung greatest common factor or GCF ng 8 at 20 using continuous division. First, divide the higher value by the lower value. So ang higher value nito ay 20. So divided by the lower value, 8, so 20 divided by 8. So 20 divided by 8 equals 2. 2 times 8, 16. 20 minus 16 equals 4. Next step, divide the previous divisor by the remainder. Ang previous divisor natin ay 8. So i-divide natin ang 8 sa remainder, which is yung 4. So 8 divided by 4. So 8 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. Let's continue. 8 minus 8 equals 0. If the remainder is 0, the last divisor is the GCF. So ang remainder natin dito sa huling division natin ay 0. So ang GCF ay yung last divisor, which is 4. So pareho ito nung ginamit natin kanina na pagkuha ng mga factors. Let's have another set of numbers. 8, 20, and 24. Let's use continuous division to solve for GCF. So first step, divide the highest value by any lower value. Highest value ay 24. So divided by lower value, gamitin natin 20. So 24 divided by 20, equals 1. 1 times 20, 20. Let's continue. 24 minus 20 equals 4. Okay? So next, divide the previous divisor by the remainder. Ang previous divisor natin ay 20. So 20 divided by 4, yun yung remainder. So 20 divided by 4, is 5. 5 times 4 equals 20. Let's continue. 20 minus 20 equals 0. Now, anong susunod? Divide the next number with the previous divisor. So, ang natitira nating number ay 8. So, gamitin natin yung 8 as panibagong dividend. Ngayon, gagamitin natin yung previous divisor which is yung 4 para ma-divide natin yung 8. So, 8 divided by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 8 equals 0. So, what's next? Again, if the remainder of the last division is 0, the last divisor is the GCF. 0 ang ating remainder sa last division, kaya ang GCF ay 4. Yun yung last divisor. So the GCF is 4. Let's try to divide all numbers by 4. 8 divided by 4 
equals 2. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. At 24 divided by 4 equals 6. Mapapansin na wala ng common factors ang 2, 5, at 6. Lahat na yan ay nasa simple terms relative to each other. Next example, we have 17, 34, 51. Again, first step, divide the highest value by any lower value. Ang highest value, 51. So let's start with 51. Then, divide 51 by any lower value. Gamitin natin yung 34. So, 51 divided by 34. So, 51 divided by 34 is 1. 1 times 34, 34. Let's continue. 51 minus 34 equals 17. Next step, divide the previous divisor by the remainder. So, previous divisor natin ay 34. So, 34 divided by 17. The answer is 2. 2 times 17, 34. Let's continue. 34 minus 34 equals 0. So, what's next? The remaining number. So, divide the next number with the previous divisor. So, ang remaining number natin ay 17. So, 17 divided by yung ating previous divisor na 17. So, 17 divided by 17 equals 1. 1 times 17, 17. Let's continue. 17 minus 17 equals 0. So, again, this is the last division. If the remainder is 0, the last divisor is the GCF. So, ang remainder natin ngayon ay 0. So, the GCF is 17. Let's see. GCF, 17. 17 divided by 17 equals 1. 34 divided by 17 equals 2. 51 divided by 17 equals 3. Let's have another set of numbers. 45, 72, 126. Divide the highest value by any lower value. Let's use 126, that's the highest value. Divided by any lower value, gamitin natin yung 72. So 126 divided by 72 equals 1. 1 times 72 is 72. Let's continue. 126 minus 72 equals 54. Next step, divide the previous divisor by the remainder. So ang previous divisor natin ay 72. So 72 divided by 54 equals 1. 1 times 54, 54. So let's continue. 72 minus 54 equals 18. Next step, gamitin pa rin yung step 2. Divide the previous divisor by the remainder. So ang previous divisor natin ay 54. So gagamitin natin 54 divided by yung remainder which is 18. So 54 divided by 18 equals 3. 3 times 18 equals 54. Let's continue. 54 minus 54 equals 0. Next, divide the next number with the previous divisor. So ang next number natin ay 45. So 45 divided by Yung previous divisor, 18. So, 45 divided by 18. Answer, 2. 2 times 18 is 36. Let's continue. 45 minus 36 equals 9. So, again, gawin natin yung step 2. Still, we have the previous divisor, 18. So, 18 divided by the remainder. So, 18 divided by 9 equals 2. 2 times 9, 18. 18 minus 18 equals 0. 
So, na-divide na natin yung lahat ng numbers na gamitan natin. 126, 72, at 45. Now, that's the last division. So, if the remainder is 0, the last divisor is the GCF. So, ang ating remainder ay 0. Kaya ang GCF ay 9. Yun yung last divisor, kaya yun yung GCF. So, let's use the GCF. 9. 45 divided by 9 equals 5. 72 divided by 9 equals 8. At 126 divided by 9 equals 14. Let's have a practice. Solve for the GCF of each set of numbers. Pwede mong ipost ang video para masagutan. Let's start. Answers. Number 1. 30, 21, 18. Step 1. Divide the highest value by any lower value. 30. Divided by 21. 30 divided by 21 is 1. 1 times 21, 21. 30 minus 21 equals 9. Next step. Divide the previous divisor by the remainder. So, 21. 21 divided by 9. Sagot, 2. 2 times 9, 18. 21 minus 18 equals 3. Again, repeat step 2. Divide the previous divisor. So, 9. 9 divided by 3. Ang sagot, 3. 3 times 3, 9. Continue, 9 minus 9 equals 0. Dahil 0 na yung remainder, let's continue with the next number. Next step, divide the next number by the previous divisor. Ang ating next number ay 18. So 18 divided by the previous divisor, 3. So divided by 3. 18 divided by 3. Equals 6. 6 times 3, 18. 18 minus 18 equals 0. 0 ang remainder sa last division. So, the last divisor is the GCF, 3. Let's see. GCF is 3. 30 divided by 3 equals 10. 21 divided by 3 equals 7. At 18 divided by 3, equals 6. Next number, 28, 64, 48. Divide the highest value by any lower value. 64 ang highest value. So, yun ang gamitin natin. Divided by 48. So, 64 divided by 48, 1. 1 times 48, 48. 64 minus 48 equals 16. Next step, divide the previous divisor by the remainder. So, previous divisor ay 48. So, 48 divided by 16. Sagot, 3. 3 times 16, 48. 48 minus 48 equals 0. So, ang next, yung third number, which is 28. So, Divide the next number by the previous divisor. So, 28 divided by 16. 28 divided by 16, 1. 1 times 16 ay 16. Continue. 28 minus 16 equals 12. So, let's repeat step 2. Divide the previous divisor by the remainder. So, previous divisor. 16, 16, divided by 12. 1, 1 times 12 is 12. 16 minus 12, 4. So, again, step 2. Previous divisor, 12. Gamitin natin. 12, divided by 4. Equals 3. 3 times 4, 
12. 12 minus 12 equals 0. So, 0 na yung remainder ng ating last division. If the remainder is 0, the last divisor is the GCF. So, 0 ang remainder. So, ang GCF ay 4. Let's use the GCF. 4. 28 divided by 4 equals 7. 64 divided by 4 equals 16. At 48 divided by 4 equals 12. Mapapansin na lahat yan ay eksakto. Walang remainder. Pag ginamit natin yung GCF. Anong dapat tandaan? Greatest common factor is the highest number that can be used to divide two or more numbers without any remainder. Pinakamataas na numero na magagamit na eksaktong panghati sa iba pang mga numero. If you like this video, give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga next videos. Thanks for watching. Till next time.